Hello everyone and welcome to another Remnant 2 guide video. In today's video we're going over the Sentinel boss fight inside the labyrinth and you can see this wonderful fight on screen now. Um, this was a little frustrating, uh, maybe more than I would like to admit, um, but I think I found a path that allows you to kind of, I'm going to say this with quotations, easily work your way through and get all of the um, cubes to deactivate so if you haven't been inside of this fight yet your your objective really isn't like dps or anything but it's to figure out this maze and shoot these little white panels off and um deactivate the cube when the cube is glowing purple like you see this one in front of me it is actually i'm going to call it active and you need to shoot the little white um boxes on the edges in order to deactivate once you've deactivated all of the different um cubes the fight ends and you're and you're on to the next part which i don't want to spoil so it's i don't want to call it easy but it's definitely something that you might take a few tries at even with this path that i've kind of found i think it might take you a few tries just because you get unlucky and you die like that. I mean, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't move there and it's okay. So let's talk about the path I like to choose. Here's the path. So we're going to come back from our checkpoint, right? We're going to go in here. And what you want to start to do is come in to the fight and, and move left into the opening over here on the left and get as many of them from this position as you can. Especially, you want to focus on this one coming at you first. Um, get inside the, the little pieces that you break off. Form these little holes that you are safe inside. And destroy as many of the white squares or crystals, whatever you want to call them, from this position first. And you can really stay in here and be relatively safe. So I do all the ones up top. Obviously, the one that is going to kill me if I, if I don't destroy it, I do that one. And all the ones up top. I do suggest using some sort of an auto rifle or um maybe like the mp60 or something like that if you have it here early it does it does help i think I, i'm not using the nightfall or anything like that so i do suggest that once you get pretty much all the top ones done and um you feel pretty secure about that um this one can be a real pain so i, I do sometimes leave that one for later um but you're going to want to move across so here we go there we go i'm able to destroy that one and then i'm going to move across over to this side so one, i've destroyed all the top ones the one that was would kill me in that position is done i'm now moving across to this side i want to shoot this one move back into position over here so the one that i was just destroying did have some you can shoot that from that first starting position as well and then you're gonna head down to the right and down into this one to come to this one try to get there soon and destroy that one as quick as possible now work the rotation take this kind of slow and steady here and then move up to this one destroy that one destroy that one and then once this one moves you can jump across so again, slow and steady here. I'm kind of playing my, my cubes. Um, that one's now deactivated. I need this one that I'm looking at right now to come back to me to destroy the final one. It is important to note that if you are going for um, the typewriter, you can shoot one of these before even getting to the boss fight. But um, I didn't show that in the video because I think if you take this path, you can go accomplish it just as easy. So, and that's the fight. That's the whole fight. I This will take you a few drops. Um, or a few tries. But if this video does help you, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content from myself. Thank you all very much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.